I gotta get into costume. Hi, my name's Mia and this is how I got into NYU. Here are kind of like some of the things I want to hit for trying to help you figure out how you want to do your NYU application. Maybe some tips I can give, hopefully. Okay, so right now I'm currently sitting outside our hotel in California. It may be a little loud, bear with me. For those of you who don't know, my name is Mia. I am 19 and I'm about to start my freshman year at NYU this fall. I recently put up like a pack with me for college video and since then I've already gotten quite a couple comments and messages asking for a how I got into NYU video. So here we are. Basically COVID hit and then I ended up taking a gap year kind of just because all of the dorms everywhere closed. It was just a messy time for everyone. This fall I am going in as a film and television production major. So I'm in NYU's Tisch School of the Arts, which also means that I'll be showing you guys like the portfolio aspect of the NYU application. Let's get into how I somehow got accepted to the school. I'm sure most of you know apply early bird. It's a binding decision. You have to really be committed to that school because if you do get accepted, then you're going there. Like no questions asked. I applied second early bird. Let's start with the stats. Kind of like the scary part of the application. For my common app, it gives you like a list of different essay topics you can choose. Common app essay prompt that I chose was the the make your own prompt for that essay i made sure to kind of talk about like a bunch of different little things to throw in there that were really personal to me so i talked about growing up and growing through high school as a military brat and the shift of friends and always being new but then also kind of like how art has influenced my life in that way and kind of kept me connected to everyone be super personable to yourself and just find like one thing that you think really identifies you as a person if you think about when you meet new people and something you automatically always talk about for yourself or you always feel necessary to tell them. Growing up, I always felt like one of my most used lines ever because people were always like, oh, where are you from? And it's like, well, I'm not really from anywhere because I've never lived anywhere more than four years since my dad is in the Navy. Like, it would just come up in conversation with every single new person I ever met. So just find something like that that you think is unique to you. I could never be a college admissions counselor. Oh my god. So that was the essay prompt I did. My weighted GPA for high school was a 4.3. Yeah, I will say I'm not like your valedictorian college YouTuber who's gonna throw their like 28 APs, their number two class ranking because that was not me. I did work very hard in high school though. I just was not your Ivy League kid, you know? Which isn't a bad thing, just wasn't me. So just a heads up as we keep getting further into my stats, my class rank that I graduated graduated with at my public high school was 31 out of 396. I graduated from a public high school, but I also went to like a magnet art school for film as well. I'm not sure what it was at my art school. In my comment app for the honors section, I put, I think I only put like one big award and that was the 2019 Virginian Pilot Scholastic Achievement Scholarship and Recognition Program. It's a mouthful. I was like principal's list throughout all of high school, but I didn't put that under there because maybe I did put it. SAT. Mm. For those of you who don't know, if you're applying to Tisch at NYU, which is the art school, you can actually opt out of submitting your SAT. They say that it has no influence on your admissions, whether or not you choose to submit your SAT score with your portfolio. And we have tested that theory. I did not submit my SAT score with my NYU application and somehow we're here and I got in. I just chose not to submit it just because it said it had no impact on my overall decision and then also because like I'm not dumb but I'm not a 1500 SAT test taker so it was like if my SAT score wasn't really shining and wasn't gonna make a really huge like positive impression then I didn't really feel the need to submit it. The activity section for my common app this is what I put I'm gonna read it off to you guys. I did put YouTube creator. I do make money from making YouTube videos so I felt like that was like a valid thing to put because I spent a lot of time editing YouTube videos that I have 2020 military youth of the year which I competed in this thing for one of the military youth centers on base for the girls and boys club and then under a journalism publication I put poser magazine because during my gap year I started my own nonprofit magazine which is called poser so if you want to check it out there's the Instagram. When I get to school this fall, I'm going to start working on the second issue of the magazine because it's all printed. All the profits are donated. It's a magazine celebrating female artists. I don't know, pretty 
fun. So I put that up there. And then I was a full-time crew member at Trader Joe's. I worked at Trader Joe's during my gap year for like about 10 months full-time. It was a little intense. And then I had some community service stuff. Like I did a lot of filming for school shows and ushering at the local theaters. An assistant coach one season for the military youth baseball team. My brother was on that. Now we're back to AP. So I only took five APs throughout high school. If you're a good school person and you can manage it and handle it and keep good grades in AP, I would just suggest taking more because it brings your GPA up if it's weighted. So yeah, the five APs that I took in high school, in my sophomore year I took AP world history and then AP art history. I didn't take any freshman year and then I moved from Texas to Virginia in between my sophomore and junior year so I got there junior year and I started my magnet art high school and my counselor was like you don't want to take APs because it's going to be too much work and I regret that. I wish I would have taken them my junior year. I didn't take any APs junior year and then my senior year I took AP studio art, AP computer science, and AP literature. It really wasn't that bad honestly and like I said I wish I would have taken more. For all five of those APs I maintained an A. My AP scores however were not as good um, so I'm not getting any of that college credit for that. Yeah that is overall like my general common application for NYU. Give you an idea of what I did. Now we have the NYU essay which was the scariest part for me I think. Like before I got to the portfolio the scariest part of the general application for NYU is the why NYU essay. Oh my god. When everyone says make it personal like you really need to make it very personal to who you are basically asking is why is NYU a good fit for you and your goals why is NYU gonna help you get to your ideal career path how can NYU help you specifically reach your goals after kind of learning this this is what my why NYU essay actually talked about I chose a couple things that were really important to me and you want to make sure to highlight those multiple times instead of kind of branching out everywhere you want to have a couple things that are really like you really care about so for me when I talked about my essay like some main points that I kept coming back to the whole thing was obviously film and then the diversity at NYU and like the cultural opportunities. My mom is Korean, so I talked about how I could get more immersed into the Korean culture and learn more about it. Another big one was also French because I never really got to take French throughout high school and it's always something I've been really interested in. And it's a big goal of mine for college to learn French and become really proficient in it. With those points in mind, this is kind of a couple like things that I specifically talked about in my white NYU essay. So I talked about how I could expand my skills at Tisch, use their classes and curriculum to prepare myself for working in a professional environment. So with that, I actually did a lot of research for this essay and I found very specific classes that I really wanted to take and that I thought would help me. Like one of those classes I think was like an Asian film history class. Beyond the class, other things that I researched and I found specific examples of were clubs that I wanted to be a part of, study abroad opportunities, and even film festivals. So there was like a French cinema club, they had a study abroad program in France where you studied experimental film in Paris. I'm really giving you guys like all the details for this. It's been a while so I don't like specifically remember but there was a student woman ran film festival at NYU for women. I talked about that and how that was very important to me especially with starting the magazine this past year that supports and promotes female artists so I definitely wanted to get involved with that and of course New York City is such a central hub for networking especially in the film industry but of course I feel like for any industry it's a great networking opportunity and I love the city too and that's like an environment that I would like to be in not a traditional college campus so you really need to do your research and highlight certain aspects of the school that specifically appeal to you why does NYU appeal to you and how is NYU going to help your specific goals I think that's a general overview of the common application and the general application for NYU and what I did. Now for all my lovely Tisch people, we're gonna get into my portfolio section. It is an entirely different application. Pretty sure NYU and USC's film application portfolios are some of the most rigorous to complete, but that's okay, it's just one application. Don't let the senioritis kick in. NYU does their portfolio through this website called Slide Room, and so after you complete the common application, you should be able to get like a login for Slide Room so you can then complete the Slide Room portfolio. The thing about the portfolio is they change it every year. So everything that I tell you now, you're probably not gonna be doing for your portfolio, at least not all of it. 
but hopefully it'll give you an idea kind of like of what to expect. First of all, for the portfolio, you have to have a one-page resume, one-page max, which can either be a great thing depending on how much work you've done or a bad thing. If there's a lot of work that you want to showcase. I would look up examples online or really get like a teacher or a parent, counselor or guardian to help you do it if you've never done a resume before because you want to make sure it looks professional. You don't want a really sloppy looking resume. For me, I feel like when applying to jobs or like applying to college, it's like if you can't even do a nice formatted resume, then it kind of throws everything else off because that's supposed to be like the most simple thing to do. Make your font look neat, make the text sizes proper, make it organized. For my creative resume, what I did was, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read this straight off for you guys. I listed different projects I'd worked on at my magnet art school, different films, film competitions that I'd been a part of. I listed camps and programs that I attended. Just make sure that everything is specific to the art field that you're trying to go into. For my camps and programs, I attended the New York Film Academy, like, film directing summer camp after my freshman year. I listed awards that my films had won. Some of these were from my art school. Some of them I had won from film festivals that I had submitted to on Film Freeway. And then you should list skills that you have. And for film, that would be like editing softwares and equipment that you're familiar with and you know how to use. Just like list some work experience. The portfolio one can be hard because there's some things that, like obviously some people have had more access and more opportunities growing up. Some of these programs and competitions and the opportunity to use equipment, it's really hard to compare yourself. Admission counselors are obviously very aware of this and so they know that everyone didn't get the chance to go to like a film summer camp because that's crazy. As long as you're really passionate and you're consistently making art, I think you should be fine. After the resume, NYU has this thing called your selfie. And this is just another way for them to get to know you. What they want is you to sit down and make a video, like one minute max, just about you. And there's literally no prompt about this. And it's probably just like an easier way for them to get to know the students without doing actual interviews for every single student. This one is going to be super different for everyone though. So I'm gonna tell you what I did, but really be creative and come up with something cool that works for you. For my year selfie, I basically just made an acrostic with my first and last name, with words that pertain to my life experience and what describe me as a person. And with that video, I did small animations, used some like family photos and just kind of had fun with it. I did a little voiceover. It was a good way that I felt to just tell a little bit about my life. And then after the year selfie, it was the tell us a story section. I'm not sure if they're still doing this one anymore, but they gave you five sentences and you had to choose one of the sentences and start a story with it. Didn't matter what the story was about as long as you started your story with one of the sentences. I forget like which one I used, but I'm pretty sure it was something about scrambled eggs and I'll put it here like the sentence starter I used and my story ended up being about four pages long. And then there was a stranded island prompt, your typical prompt I feel like everyone's seen before. You had five non-essential items that you had to choose on an island. Two of them that they wanted to know was your favorite movie that you would take and your favorite book and then just some other fun items. I can't remember all of the non-essential items. One of them though that I did choose was Elizabeth Swan's wedding dress from Pirates of the Caribbean just because I felt like that was fun and I talked about like how everyone should dress more non-traditionally in public. Just use things that'll give you an excuse to show more of your personality and talk more about yourself basically. And then finally the biggest piece of the portfolio was the creative submission. Mine was a short film. It was Moth is Not a Nerd. It's actually up on my YouTube. That's the one that I got into CalArts with as well. Creative submission, there's not really as much advice I can give on that. Just make a new piece specifically for college. Try not to use an old piece so that you're kind of forcing yourself to think out of the box and push yourself to make something newer and better. I will link that short film down below though if you want to go watch it. It was super fun to make. Got a really amazing scholarship and if you don't know, when you apply to NYU, you're automatically considered for a scholarship. There are other scholarships that you can apply to, but you're automatically considered for one. I feel like that's all I have for you guys on how I got into NYU. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful. Please let me know if you're applying or if you got in, like when the decisions come out. That's so exciting. Good luck to everyone and I can't wait to see you guys and all the new NYU videos that I will be making this fall. I'm so excited. We got all like the moving in videos on the dorm tours. So yeah, super exciting stuff. Less than three weeks now until I move. I would love to hear everyone's like admissions things. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next college video. And if there are any more questions that you guys have or want me to answer, then comment them down below and I'll try and get back to you or maybe I can make like another video. Bye, good luck.